Hey, what's going on everybody? I uh, just want to make a quick video comparing four days Casio A1200 models. I thought it might be beneficial to at least one person to see the different color variants on video side by side. Uh, so hopefully this video helps you choose which one you want to purchase. Because this is the watch you'll want to have. It's also commonly known and affectionately known as the Casio Royale. As the watch looks quite similar to the Seiko model worn by Roger Moore in the 1983 film Octopussy. Yes, Casino Royale came out 23 years later, but don't think too much into it. So, I currently own these four models. This is the AE1200WHD dash 1AV stainless steel bracelet this is the 1AE1200WH dash 1CV this is the AE1200WH dash 5A and this is the AE1200WH dash 1BV so all these models are easily found on Casio's website or Amazon. In the US, you may have a little bit harder time picking up this one with the green world map, uh, but it can still be found on Amazon. A little bit more expensive than the other three. I picked up both of these for about $20, 22 or so if I recall correctly. This one I picked up on sale for about 27 or 28 and actually this one was the more expensive, most expensive of all three, uh, just because I believe it is an international model and uh, wasn't as readily available from as many sellers. So this one was about upper 30s, uh, I think 35 to 38 or something like that. So anyway, of course, you know, one of the best features about these watches is the world time function. And it's pretty cool. You can, you know, seamlessly switch between time zones, which makes it really great for traveling or layovers or anything like that. And one thing that will always show in the top left corner is your home time, your home uh, time zone. So right now this is in New York local time UTC 5 so um, you know if I switch to the world time function you can see that now it's an LAX 11:47 p.m. so in the world time function as I am now you can actually scroll through them and you'll see that the world map function is changing up here corresponding to the time zone you're in so there are 48 cities you can scroll through. And if I hold it down, you can also see it moving through those. So all these models have a analog, analog clock up here that like I mentioned, always stays in your home time. So this is still shown New York City time, regardless of what the time zone you were in. This will always show your time zone number one. And on your home time, you also have three other time zones you can quickly access. And the map will also accordingly move with those. And that's separate from the world time function, which you can cycle through all 48 different cities that's available, that are available. Got the alarm with your five different alarms. Also, your hourly chirp can be turned on and off right here. You can see the signal being on and off right here. If we want to turn another alarm on, we have the option of turning it once on or to remain on every day at that time. These also all have 10-year battery life, and 
from my experience with uh, other casinos that you'll get 10 years if not more this is a casio i bought about 14 years ago when i was a freshman in university the strap has since fallen off but still keeping time never changed the battery almost 14 years later and still ticking I don't really have any scientific data, so to speak, but uh, I've set all of these watches at different times, different days, I should say. And uh, what I've noticed is about 10 to 15 seconds per month is the variance, um, which you can expect, which is honestly great. And it, it's comparable to many high-end watches. All of these AE1200 models do have resin glass, so this is just plastic, you know, uh, it's not mineral glass, it's certainly not sapphire. Um, some of the Casios and G-Shocks do have the mineral glass, which is a bit more resistant to scratch and scuffs, but any scratches or scuffs you get on these can be easily buffed out with a little elbow grease. With some uh, poly watch compound. So these are also very easily moddable and there's a big modding community with these watches. You can find groups on Reddit. You know, if you just search YouTube A1200 Casio Right On Mod, you'll find a bunch of videos. SKX Mods makes different uh, all full metal cases and bracelets for these the uh, bracelet that comes with this stainless steel model is quite rattly as you can hear but does the job and you know there's people that are doing a little bit easy modifications on it which they just take uh you know cut q-tip quad and swab and uh a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol in one of these and dip it in and just they rub the illuminator or will time off there's also people that even open the case up and uh, remove some of the lettering from the uh, face plates so you know to each their own but to me I kind of find the excessive and maybe unnecessary lettering part of the charm and it gives these watches kind of that 90s or retro vibe that is nostalgic and what i appreciate at least but of course to each their own uh there's a cute couple other people i think cranio design is one of them i'm not sure if he's still uh selling i think last time i checked they he's paused on his sales for now uh but anyway you can mod these very easily and for not too much the mod kits start around hundred dollars and uh pretty good deal you get those and and i've seen those videos and it does change the watch quite a bit but i think for now i'm gonna keep them the way they are and uh that's fine with me because if i need something a little bit more formal you know i can always pop something pop something else on uh, so I'll probably keep these the way they are for now and the stainless steel one which by the way the case is still resin and you can see the uh, the resin mold lines right here but uh, this is one I probably pretty much wear every day it has a uh, weight about 90 grams according to the spec sheet on Casio uh, and I've removed a few links so it's probably less than that um, just for reference uh, I've removed about uh, three links not about I've removed three exactly three links uh, and uh, for reference my wrist is about a uh, 6.75 inch uh, diameter wrist Sorry, circumference. 
Uh, it's about 17 centimeters. If you want to uh, check out some of the links below, uh, I'll have links for these watches through Amazon. You know, and encourage you to shop around, but if you do find that the links below find you the lowest or equally the lowest price at somewhere else, you know, I'd appreciate it if you could go through my link. A little bit of a kick kickback. Uh, pennies, you know. Anyway. So this is the stainless steel model. I pretty much wear this daily. The 1BV, the green world map, is my other favorite. And you can see that the screen has a slight yellowish tint, yellowish light green tint compared to the other models. You can see that here. And of course the green world map does stand out. Between this model, the A1200 WHD 1AV and the A1200 WH-1CV, you can see there's not many differences in the actual case. Uh, but the one small difference that there is, is in the lettering color on the faceplate. You can see the Casio and the 10-year battery are in the white text, but the remainder text are in including around the analog display, analog, is gray versus white. And you'll also find the same faceplate coloring, letters, color scheme in the uh, bronze version. So this is the 5A, and this is the 1CV, 5AV. You just take a comparison. It is a nice bronze color, but I, I do have a another bronze G-Shock um, that I tend to wear more than either of these two. Actually, I don't get anywhere out of these two, to be honest with you. Not that they're not great watches, because they're identical to this and this. But this green world map was the key reason I got this watch. And I do find myself wearing this one and this one way more frequently than these two. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, I don't know what else I wanted to say, uh, but I realized that yeah. Said I was going to show you guys the LED function on all of them, but I actually never did that. So, just splicing this clip in here, and all of these are set to three second illumination. Uh, there's two options one and a half second, and three second. So, anyway, enjoy. Your screen's still a little bright here. Hold up one second. All right. So this is the last one with the green world map, and as you can see, no issues seeing the time at all. None at all. Very nice, reliable backlight on these.
I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on the bronze version of the Casio Royale A1200 WH-5AV. World time functionality, unique bronze colored case. nice sort of faceplate I'll also be giving away the AE1200WH-1CV silver case black bezel two beautiful watches I'll be giving away keeping this one keeping this one but these two for grabs subscribe comment like the video i'll choose one lucky winner for each watch the one cv and the five av enjoy